Welcome to Just Cause 3. This is Striker of Inu, and you've got... Uh, well, you, you, you got Just Cause 3. I, I just told you. God, aren't you listening? So this is best weapons you can get uh, in the game early on. So it, it's not the most powerful weapons in the game, because ultimately those are uh, mission locked. It's not the stuff from the DLC, because... You gotta have certain stuff completed, but these are the ones that, hey, if you just bought the game for really cheap, uh, if they made the game free with games for gold, uh, you can get these pretty much right away and, you know, start collecting a few of them to make your gaming uh, experience a little bit easier because you've got some powerful stuff. And here we go. Wait, lo logging in. I have to wait? It's my video. What the... F and here we go. The first thing you want is the attack helicopter, the CS Navajo. Uh, this is the attack helicopter of choice when you're first starting out. It has a uh, really good range. Uh, you can literally stay out of view of the authorities and stay out of uh, the heat level zone and attack things from pretty far away. Um, it's going to be a little hard sometimes to see what you're shooting at, but you can engage the SAM sites the missile silos uh, before they will even be able to spot you. Uh, you just kind of need to scout out ahead and see where they are, but this is where you need to go. Uh, this is, uh, what is it, Punta Sud, uh, North 41, East 37, uh, give or take, but this thing is awesome. This is by far, you want to you you want to get this thing right away because you're going to use it to uh, grab all the other items. Uh, very handy, very useful. All right, and then we're looking at the Fire Leech RPG. Uh, that really should be your next uh, bet here. This you're going to find at North 48, uh, East 33. Uh, this is uh, the Kava. Jamanos Nord. Now, there's also a uh, Jamanos Sud, but you don't want that. You want this one that's higher up. Uh, I cleared out the other one thinking it was it. As you can see, we just got to go basically straight north from when we got the uh, uh, the CS Navajo. And you're going to use the helicopter best you can. <sighs> there's a lot of air defenses. Um, not to lie, this is going to be a little bit of a tough area, but I mean, you know, destroy as much as you can. Uh, use your other rocket launchers uh, to the best of your ability. Uh, take them out. You're going to have enemy helicopters here. Uh, you can grab onto them if you want. You're going to have enemy tanks. Uh, it's probably a good idea to jump into one of them and just start uh, wrecking shop. Uh, there's a lot of stuff you need to destroy, including the, uh, the top half of those excavators, the big machineries uh, that you saw before. I believe that the area that you're going to is going to need to you're going to need to destroy two of them up there but uh, yeah there's a there's a lot of guys a lot of attack helicopters you might want to uh, use your attack helicopter the best you can and then when you need to bail out of it uh, then just bail out and go to a couple of SAM launchers hack them to get them on your side and then uh, it'll give you a little bit of room to move around next up is the Bavarium tank uh, this thing's pretty cool, especially since you uh, just assaulted the uh, the Fire Leech RPG. You might have noticed having uh, an armored vehicle, like a tank, is pretty handy when you got multiple SAM sites and you got multiple missile launchers, multiple uh, helicopters engaging you. So I kind of recommend this. I, I like having a uh, something heavy that's got a gun that can take out most of my uh, most of the things that you need to destroy as part of a military base. And uh, that's in Cava, Montana. Uh, it's in this uh, gully area. I think that's what it's called, right? Um, you know, the water area with recessed walls and whatnot. Uh, you gotta watch out for the train. The train that goes by has uh, multiple uh, SAM launchers on it, so you might not get to have your helicopter for extremely long if you get too close to that train uh, train line over there. But, uh, but the tank is kind of fun. It's got the, uh, the double barrel on it. That just basically means it reloads a little faster than your average tank. It's got a machine gun on it. Um, and it also has a built-in shield that you activate by pushing down on the left stick. I'm not sure on PlayStation 4, but it's probably similar to, to that. But yeah, you know, it, it's not really bad. It makes quick work of, of stuff. 
uh, bases and whatnot. You don't got to worry about the SAM launchers, of course. Uh, yeah, helicopters can can lay into it pretty heavy, but uh, but it really is. It's the best tank in the game, uh, DLC notwithstanding. You know, like the mechs. So definitely one you want to get. And we have the bomber jet, the U-7 Dravec. This is going to be a bit of a tough. This is in Vulture. Uh, this is at North 47, East 36. Um, this is a triple runway military base. Um, but the trick is, is that uh, if you can kind of blast your way into one of the hangars, you can actually grab yourself uh, one of these jets, if not the uh, the standard fighter jet, which is also another machine that we want to have. But yeah, this is the U-7 Dravec. This is... It's got the uh, the twin fins in the back and the dual engines uh, that you can recognize it. Uh, but that's it's the bomber, so it, it has a separate reticle for using bombs. And uh, you can actually probably get two bombing runs in uh, to an area. So this, this is the hangar I'm talking about. Um, if you can make your way kind of in the middle level, you know, not the upper part. But this middle area, you can get in here and you'll actually find a number of bombers. This is me actually uh, grabbing one of the bombers and attacking the exact same base. Uh, it literally took me, I think, an entire day uh, in-game to take out all the installations. Because I was a really early level. As you can see, you know what? It's actually pretty fun. It takes a little time getting used to switching the camera around when you're doing bombing runs. Um, you are... If you run at full speed, you can outrun a lot of SAM sites, too, uh, with this jet. Uh, I just happened to get caught there because I went straight up. But yeah, you know what? It's The bomber jet is one of the coolest things in the game, so definitely get that. And now we're going to backtrack down the map a little bit to get the UPU-210. That's the grenade launcher. Now, uh, it's at Espiabasa, and uh, it's not too bad, North 42. Uh, east 36.750. Um, this one you can get pretty early too. Um, it's it's okay. I, that's why I kind of put it toward the end of this list. You really want the helicopter and maybe even the bomber, but uh, and the other RPG, the fire leech. But this is pretty good. Um, you just have to look for the fuel tanks that are underneath uh, the base, like right back there. Those are the ones that you might end up missing. But, uh, but yeah, it's, it's not bad, you know, it's a grenade launcher, it's, it's something to have, but it takes the place of a rocket launcher, so, uh, you know, use, use what you want, maybe it gives you more ammo. Who knows? And we finally got the CS-7 Thunderhawk, this is the fighter jet, this thing's pretty fun too, um, it fires really fast, you're gonna be in for a little bit of a fight, uh, this is at uh, Griffin Base. Um, as you can see, it's relatively close to the uh, starting area. Um, you can fire off a lot of missiles really fast, do a lot of damage. Um, unlike what I said with the bomber, I think the bomber actually flies slow enough to get hit by SAM sites pretty regularly. But the fighter jet is the thing that actually goes fast enough to where you can kind of avoid that stuff. Um, it locks on, it doesn't necessarily lock on to SAM sites, um, but it does kind of lock on to uh, other enemies and whatnot. Um, but you're going to be mostly kind of aiming and strafing and, and firing off as many as possible. And that kind of does it for our list. As you can see, you could fire them off really fast. But, uh, and that's basically our list. Uh, there was, you know, a couple other lists that kind of did something similar. But I was specifying that this is at the beginning of the game. Uh, you didn't need to worry about DLC or anything like that. Um, I didn't mention the capstone Hydra missile launcher, but depending on what version of the game you bought, some people got that right away. Uh, it's also DLC you can unlock for, I think it's either a dollar or two dollars along with a sniper rifle. And uh, there was one guy that uh, actually did a lot of this stuff too, but uh, the coordinates that he gave for some reason were wrong. I don't know if they did an update later that changed it, so I decided to update that and give you guys some good coordinates. So hey, uh, keep blowing stuff up. Thanks for watching.